Hi everybody, this is Fully Off and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this really easy, 100% lossless, fully automatic chicken cooker. I'll put a list of everything you need to build this on screen now, so pause the video if you need to. So let's get on and build this thing. Okay, to build this cooker you're going to need an area that is 3 wide by 7 deep. And you won't have to dig down in this uh, in this build, so you can build this at ground level uh, without worrying about uh, what's underneath you. So to start with, come to the front uh, and find the middle block and put down your chest. And then you want to spin around the back and you want to put a hopper going into the back of that chest. So you need to crouch and then put a hopper going into, going into the back of the chest. This is where your baby chickens are going to be standing. So on top of that, you need to put yourself down a slab so you need to crouch again and then put a slab on top of the hopper and then around the front you need to put four blocks on one side of the chest four blocks on the other put a block along the top so you've got a two block gap in the middle and you want to fill that middle with two blocks of glass now you can use plain glass if you want but I'd steer clear of using panes I'd, you really should be using solid solid block. so once you've done that you want to come around the back and you want to put a block coming out of the back of the hopper right at the back of the hopper and then facing to the front you need to put down two dispensers you want to put a dispenser there and you need to put a dispenser on top both of these facing forwards now the bottom dispenser is going to have your eggs in it the top dispenser is going to have a bucket of lava in it which is going to cook the chickens when they're grown up uh, so they, they both need to be dispensers, they both need to be pointing forward. That's what you should have now. Now going into the back of the bottom dispenser, you need to put yourself down another hopper. So crouch again and have that going into the back of the bottom dispenser. And put yourself down a block below the back of the uh, the uh, hopper you've just put down. And on this block you need to be putting down a comparator like that okay then put another block down there and coming out of the back of this comparator you need a an observer block and you need the observer block with the smiley face the detection area of it pointing at the comparator and the the output side the redstone side needs to be facing away so anything now that happens to that comparator is going to be detected by the detector block and it's going to give an out it's going to uh, to output a signal which is exactly what we want. Observer block, and then you want to put two bits of dust on top of those blocks. So you want to a redstone dust on top of that block, and you need redstone dust on top of the observer block. Now, directly on top of the comparator, you're going to need a block, a solid block. So crouch again, put a solid block there, like that. Now on top of the hopper facing the facing the dispenser you need a redstone repeater on standard one tick and you want that coming out of that block and going into the dispenser so every time now there's an item that goes through that dropper that dispenser is going to fire twice so now you should have something that looks like that Brilliant. So the next job now is to just stick a bit of lighting down. Grab yourself a torch, and you need to put a torch just there, which is going to hide, which is going to light it up a little bit, and it's going to cut down on the redstone lag, the flashing lag, uh, which we all love. And then you need to fill in this side completely with your block of choice. Then you want to zoom around the other side. You want to do exactly the same. Fill this side in completely with your block of choice. Now next, get to the top and you want to put a block on top of the dispenser. And then you want to put another block behind the back, on top of that block behind the back of the repeater. That's where your feeder chickens are going to go. That's where your baby chickens are going to go. 
and then you just want to fill this in as much as you can all the way around the back like that so now you've got something that looks like that now it's time to get your chickens in here now you can do this in a couple of ways you can find your chickens and you can get them uh, get some seeds and you can try and entice them to fall in there and push them in and whatever or you can grab yourself some eggs and you can just throw some eggs in there eventually but try not to throw <laughs> eggs at the chicks you've already got in there So there's about a 12% chance of an egg giving you a chicken. Um, so you could spend quite a long time doing this uh, and you probably will. So again, it's up to you. I found it easier to uh, uh, to throw eggs in because I had a lot of eggs, but you might find it easier just to entice them in with some seeds. But what you need in the end is 24 chickens in there. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna grab some chicken eggs. So once you've got your 24 chickens in there, that's what it's going to look like. Now you need to grab yourself some glowstone. You don't need glow, uh, glowstone. It's just nice to have a bit of lighting in there. So grab yourself some glowstone or sea lanterns. It's up to you. Put one above there and then one above there. Now, finally, what you want to do is just pop out that bit of glass there. You want to put a bucket of lava in the top dispenser. And then put that bit of glass back in again. So now every time the chickens at the back lay an egg, the lava is going to pop out and get sucked back in again. Now, because the baby chickens are less than half a block tall, the baby chickens stood on that slab aren't going to die. They're not, they're not going to cook. But once they grow up, their heads are going to be slightly higher and uh, and that'll be within the range of the lava. So when the lava pops out, it's going to set the chickens on fire and all of your cooked chicken and feathers are going to fall down into there. And because you've got a slab underneath, the lava is never going to run down. So it's never going to it's never going to kill your baby chickens. And because the lava is not it doesn't stay out that long. The adult chickens and their drops aren't going to get sucked up into the lava when they die. So all the drops are going to fall straight down into the, the hopper at the back and then into the chest at the front. OK, so there are a couple of limitations I just need to make you aware of about this cooker. Firstly, you do need a slab in there. So make sure that you build it out of a block that either has a slab variation or looks good with another slab. Uh, and also don't build it out of wood unless you have the fire ticks on your server turned off. If the fire tick is turned on, then it'll catch fire and there'll be tears and everything. So don't build it out of wood unless the fire spread on your server or on your world is turned off. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, everybody. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. This is Frilly off. And I'm out of here.